find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of p of x in each of the following cases here we should not forget that it is already x minus 1 is a factor of p of x that is the value of x when we equated in the given equations sorry in given polynomials the value of the polynomial reduces to the zero so we can calculate it so here x minus 1 is a factor so x minus 1 is a let us find the value of x by equating it to 0 that is d of x is equal to x minus 1 so x is equal to 1 let us substitute this value that is p of x is equal to x square plus x plus 1 x plus k so p of 1 is equal to 0 so p of 1 is equal to 1 square plus 1 plus k 1 plus when k p of 1 is 0 so 0 is equal to 1 square is 1 plus 1 plus k so 0 is equal to 2 plus k so minus 2 is equal to k is the value of the k in the first problem let us move on to the second problem p of x is equal to 2x square plus kx plus root 2 we already know from the first problem that x minus 1 is equal to 0 so the factor so the value of x is 1 let us substitute this in 1 p of x is equal to 2x square plus kx plus root 2 so p of 1 is equal to 0 by the factor theorem so p of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 square plus k into 1 plus root 2 so 0 is equal to 1 square is 1 plus k plus root 2 0 is equal to 2 plus k plus root 2 let us move 2 to the left hand side and uh, root 2 the, to the left hand side it will become minus 2 minus root 2 is equal to the value of k that is if we take minus 1 as common 2 plus root 2 is equal to k is the value of this equation if this k next we will move to the third problem that is the third problem is p of x is equal to k x square minus root 2 x plus 1 so here also x minus 1 is the factor so when equated to 0 we will get the x is equal to 1 and p of x is equal to k x square minus root 2 x plus 1 p of 1 is 0 p of 1 is equal to k into 1 whole square minus root 2 into 1 plus 1 so p of 1 as i already know that it is equal to 0 0 is equal to k into 1 square is 1 minus root 2 into 1 is root 2 plus 1 0 is equal to k minus root 2 plus 1 let us shift minus root 2 and plus 1 to the left hand side so minus root 2 will become root 2 plus root 2 and plus 1 will become minus 1 is equal to k this is the value of k the fourth problem is p of x is equal to 4k x square minus 3x plus k and we know that x minus 1 is a factor so on equating it to 0 x is equal to 1 let us substitute this one in this polynomial p of 1 is equal to 0 what is p of x p of x is equal to k x square minus 3x plus k so p of 1 is equal to k into 1 whole square minus 3 into 1 plus k p of 1 we know that it is equal to 0 k into 1 square is 1 minus 3 plus k so 0 is equal to k minus 3 plus k 0 is equal to 2k minus 3 when we take it to the left hand side minus 3 will become plus 3 is equal to 2k and 3 by 2 is equal to cross multiplication 3 by 2 is equal to k this is the value of k 
k in this equation k is equal to 3 by 2 factorize the first problem 12x square minus 7x plus 1 first of all let us take the 12 and the last term 1 12 1s are 12 we should multiply it the first uh, the coefficient of x square with uh, x to the power of 0 and the coefficient of x to the power of 0 so we will be getting 12 in 1s are 12 and let us take the minus 7 minus 7 the coefficient of x so we, we should uh, split this number in such a way that the product should be equal to 12 so it is the most easiest way of splitting it uh, 4 3s are 12 4 3s are 12 4 3s are 12 4 3s are 12 but uh, if we add these two numbers we should get the sum as minus 7 when we had these two numbers so what we have to take here is when we had what sign has to be there here means we should get minus 7 means minus 4 plus of minus 3 it will get minus 7 so we can change this also minus 4 into minus 3 minus 3 is equal to minus into minus is plus 12 4 3 is a 12 so we can split this as 12 x square minus 4 x minus 3 x plus 1 we will convert this we will take these two and common uh, we will take the common from these two terms as 4 x 4 3 is a 12 4 3 is a 12 and x in and we will take x x into x is x square minus 4x into 1 is equal to 4x here i will take the common as minus 1 so what happens minus 1 into 3x is minus 3x minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 you please note down here 3x minus 1 and 3x minus 1 likewise only we should get inside the bracket so we can write it as 4x minus 1 here the 4x is there minus 1 is there here and 3x minus 1 these are the two factors of the given polynomial 12x square minus 7x plus 1 so here we have completed this pro problem the second problem is 2x square plus 7x plus 3 here too we should take the coefficient of x square and the constant the, co the coefficient of x square is 2 and the constant term is 3 2 3 is a 6 is there and we should take the coefficient of 7 we should split this number in such a way that the product of these two numbers should be equal to 6 so we can take it as 6 1s are 6 6 1s are 6 when we add this 6 with 1 we will get 7 the add on addition we should get this 7 it's straight away there is no change of sign we can split it as 2x square plus 6x plus 1x plus 3 we can make this 2 as term, terms we will take the common of these two terms that is 2x can be taken as common so 2 when 2x is taken as common x will remain 2x into x is 2x square plus 2 3 is a 6 2 3 is a 6 x already we have taken so it's over plus here we can take 1 as common x plus 3 we should note down that x plus 3 here also is there x plus 3 here also is there so we can write x plus 3 first and then you can write 2x plus 1 this is the factors these are the two factors of the given polynomial x 2x square plus 7x plus 3 the third problem is 6x square plus 5x minus 6 first we should multiply the coefficient of x square with the co constant that is 6 into minus 6 is equal to 6 minus 6, 6 into minus 6 is minus 36 and we should split this 5 in such a way that the product should what we should get is minus 36 so what i have found here is 9 4s 
9 4 is a 36. So we should get here minus sign. Uh, and uh, while adding these two numbers, 9 plus 4, 9 minus 4, 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. On adding these two numbers, we will get 5. So we should change here minus. 9 into minus 4 is minus 36. We can find this by making, finding the LCM. 2 18s, 2 9s, 3 3s, 3 3s are 9, 2 4s, 2 2s are 4. Likewise, we should we can calculate this one. So here we can split this one as 6x square plus 9x minus 4x minus 6. We will join these two and these two. Here we can take the common as 3x. If I take 3x, 2x remains. 3 2s are 6, x into x is x square plus 3 3s are 9. 3 3s are 9. X, we, x is already taken out. Minus 2 we will take here. 2 if you take means 2, 2 remains and x also remains. 2 2s are 4 minus. Minus into minus is plus so it is not. My minus into plus is minus. 2 3 is a 6. You look at this one. 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3 is there. No problem. So 2x plus 3 and uh, 3x minus 2 are the factors of the given polynomial. Here the coefficient of x square is 3 and the constant is minus 4. 3 4 is a 12 and plus into minus is minus. So here yeah, the coefficient of x is minus 1. We should split this minus 1 in such a way that it should fetch us minus 12. The product should fetch us minus 12. So 3 4 is a here already it is there. 3 4 is a 12 and we should get uh, the minus sign. So we, let us put it to the my, minus 4. And uh, once we add these two numbers, we should get uh, minus 1. So 3 plus of minus 4 is equal to minus 1. It's right. So we can write it as 3x square plus 3x minus 4x minus 4. Here we can take the common as 3x. So what happens is x remains. 3x into x is 3x square plus 3x into 1 is 3x. Likewise, uh, we can take here minus uh, 4 as common 4. So what remains is x remains minus into plus is minus 4 1s are 4. So here also x minus 1, x plus 1, here also x plus 1. So x plus 1 we can straight away write, write it and 3x minus 4, 3x minus 4 x plus 1 and into 3x minus 4 are the factors of 3x square minus 3x minus 4. 